Hi viewers, um, I'm just going to do a metering video with the Ferranti uh, MDI meter. Um, first I'd like to acknowledge all the new subscribers I've been getting on my channel and thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, as you know I like electrical explosions, batteries, uh, doing experiments and of course metering is a big part of my uh, interest. And uh, yeah, you'll see a few more metering videos as well. Preferably electromechanical meters and the like. So today this video is about uh, a Ferranti, Ferranti Maximum Dema meter which I acquired uh, about 10 days ago. And it's quite interesting meter. So I'm going to do a dial test as I set this up. Uh, the start readings initially on this uh, SPA01 meter, check meter is uh, 2. 999.91 at the moment and the Ferranti sits on uh, 41195 4 kilowatt hour. Um, I've set this one up as a two element meter, it's a, it's a three phase 400, but I set it up on the red and blue element so it runs twice as fast as the other meter. So the way I've wired this up is uh, one element and the other elements they're more or less in series so the source comes out of the test block goes into the red element from there it goes to the Schlumberger test meter back out of the Schlumberger back into the Ferranti and I'm just going to do a uh, dial test and see how the maximum demand uh, indicator is uh, performing to see if it actually works I no, just missed it all over, pity. And it's clicked on 3000. And um, current on this meter is go by the green numbers is uh, about 27 ampere. And the voltage is uh, on 232 40. Mm -hmm. The meter type is an FNA 34QD, 3 times 50 ampere. It's a direct reading meter, 33.33 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Ferranti Holling Wood made in Great Britain and on this side is 3 times 230 volts 3 phase 4 wires and 50 hertz Ok, yeah, the meter is running for you well uh, the Schlumberger is clocked up 3.5 units and the Ferranti clocked up 7 units which is exactly in line with what I was expecting um, I've connected the MDR meter up to the needed to be a jumper from the active to an extra terminal to activate the call that sits on the side here. There's a call there, but it goes via the clockwork mechanism which sits here, and it's got a switch which uh, got 30 minutes. There's a synchronous motor. Drives the switch which stops the pointer out which pushes the main needle up in 30 minute uh, intervals on this particular device. There's even a clock indicator in here. Uh, 12 minutes out of a 30 minute block. This disc is actually extremely well made. It's a float on bearing but it's got a glass spindle in the middle. Um, I'll take the dial off at some stage after I've done the accuracy test but yeah. Very cool. Well viewers, it's a couple of days later. I've just taken a reading five minutes ago and the meters have been uh, running for the last three days and I'll show the final results here uh, the SPA01 uh, recorded from there to there 353.3 kilowatt hour and the FNAB start stop readings 703 kilowatt hour but divided by two makes uh, 351 so it's about 0.6% difference, which is not bad, considering. Well, I've taken a register of the meter, and uh, here you have a close-up on the disc. It actually um, has a glass spindle on the inside, very well made, beautifully made. And uh, there's a float-on bearing in the top here of the disc. There's a little magnet in there. There's a magnetic suspension of the disc. Oh yeah, quite amazing piece of precision engineering made by Ferranti. 
the clock timer is still there and I'll have a look at the register now. Here sitting on my uh, dwell pass. Um, I'll just have a look at the click. We get some good lighting in here. Um, let's see if I put it this way I suppose. Um, nice brass gear wheels which have been tinned fiber drive wheel. Um, you can see the spring that's for the reset of the maximum demand dial. And we got the gears in here. Gear train, nice metal, all metal gear train anyway. Careful here that I don't break any gears off. So yeah, that's the Ferranti FNAB. Where's the maximum demand pointer on it? Nice piece of British engineering. The meter register is uh, screwed down here, there, and there's a support screw here, and there's another support screw here by the call. And then the call itself is a little plug, and it's plugged into the two terminals here at the back. So, yeah, very, very cool. I'll plug it back in. That was the activation of the solenoid. Okay, that's the Ferranti. I'm very pleased with this meter. It's a nice addition to my collection. Coming up in the next video is this nice Iskra 208 meter. Got a bit of a warped nameplate, but um, with a bit of luck I can sort it out. Uh, the type of this meter is an E62 CD1. Single phase. 80 ampere maximum.